Nathan Rancher here for my Women Rancher series. Velma Braun Johnston, as her family was coming across the desert plains, she was saved by the milk of a Mustang mare. That just might have been the impetus for her life's work. When she was younger, she had polio and became disfigured from it. Some believe that it is from this that she also had a connection to animals that were not taken care of or mistreated. One day on the way to work, she passed a trailer that had blood coming out of it. She followed the trailer to a slaughterhouse and realized there were horses in there. This mortified her. She spent years researching, perfecting, building important contacts, and learning how to deliver a passionate message that would be respected and commanding. Through her work, she became known as Wild Horse Annie. She was instrumental in stopping the capture and poisoning the water that they drank from and the blatant capture and kill of the wild horses and burrows. She established two major organizations to help with the horses. Through her actions in 1971, the Wild Free Roaming Horses and Burrows Act was unanimously passed in Congress. I'd say that's pretty worthy. Make a rancher out.